This right here, all right? Pretend there's someone in front of me. This, I'm Apple right now, okay? I'm Apple, bro, all right? I just filmed the whole video and my mic sounded like straight garbage. So now I got to sit all the way over here for a minute. Got to, can't lean into it. Today's video is going to be on Apple versus Fortnite. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we'll just start with the basic and then get into the in-depth part of it. Okay, we'll start from we'll start from the beginning of all this, which is crazy that we just saw a tweet of. So, Fortnite Mega drop lands today. Get up to 20% in savings on V-Bucks using select payment methods. This isn't a short-term sale. These are our new prices. More info on availability in your currency and how it works. So, Fortnite tweeted this and what it did was it got Apple all types of mad. So before they even said what they were doing with Apple, they tweeted out this picture, 1984 night, which was just talking about 1984. 1984, if you don't know anything about 1984, is basically just the, the role of truth and facts within politics and their manipulation. We're gonna stick with this word, manipulation. So basically, since I knew a little bit of about that year, I was like, what could this possibly be about? And they ended up basically suing or saying they're going to sue. I don't know if that's a fact, but Epic Games has filed legal papers in response to Apple. Read more here, which I have it opened right here. But basically, I mean, Apple took Fortnite off of their store. So we're going to show you guys a video about this really quick. <laughs> So if you notice, the guy that was talking wasn't Apple, which I didn't notice the first time I watched that, but Epic Games has defied the App Store monopoly. Wait, let me read this with the volume a little lower. Apple is blocking Fortnite from a billion devices. Wow. <laughs> and basically they're saying, let's try not to make this 1984 again. Now, they're saying, don't let this company, don't let Apple manipulate you. And which is kind of savage, bro, that one company would go at it in this direction um we're relating it to 1984 which is interesting um for the, there's gonna be a lot of people that don't understand what i'm saying or why they're doing this or they're just gonna hate on fortnite or they're just gonna hate on apple and there's really no way to go out go about this without the facts right what the heck is that sound i literally just opened minecraft dungeons bro so there was a lot that i talked about this is my second time filming it so i just had to remember what i haven't talked about and they have all the legal papers. I will put this link in the description so that you can refer to it if you would like. We're not going to go over all 65 pages, but there's going to be a few things that we're going to go over because it's important. In 1984, the fledging Apple computer company released the Macintosh, the first mass market consumer friendly home computer. The product launch was announced with breathtaking advertisement invoking George Orwell's 1984 that cast Apple as a beneficial, revolutionary, force-breaking IBM monopolies over the computer technology market. Apple's founder Steve Jobs introduced the first showing on, on of the 1984 advertisement by explaining it appears IBM wants it all. Apple is perceived to be the only hope to offer IBM a run for its money, which Will Big Blue dominate the entire com company industry, the entire information age? Was George Orwell right about 1984? Interestingly, I did not read this the first time, but basically, this is this makes it a lot better. So they're saying that Apple themselves, well, one of the owners, the founder, I guess, said that they didn't want Apple to be a monopoly. They didn't want those other companies to be a monopoly. They didn't want, they just wanted a better computer for everybody, right? But now we're in 2020. And to read this one, fast forward to 2020, Apple has become what it was once railed against. So, you know, as we read in the, lot, the previous passage, the behemoth seeking to control markets, block com competition and stifle innovation. Apple is bigger, more powerful, more entrenched, and more perniscuous. Pernick, perniscuous, perni. Okay, whatever. Then the monopolist of yesteryear. I love that word. I'm going to start using that. A mar at a market cap of nearly $2 trillion. Apple size. I got to stop yelling at my mic. Oh my gosh. I turned it down a little bit because I know I'm going to yell in it and it's going to sound terrible. Apple size and reach far exceeds that of any technology monopolist in history. <laughs> 
um, which is insane. But there's a lot. So if this is what we're going to skip to because of all this interesting stuff that's going on. In contrast, software developers can make their products available to users on of an Apple personal computer, Mac or MacBook, and an open market through a variety of stores or even through direct downloads from the developer's website. With a variety of payments options and competitive processing fees that average 3%. A full 10 times lower than the exorbitant 30% fees Apple applies to its mobile device in app purchases. Um, which is saying like, if we go down to percentage wise, basically, if I give this guy a dollar and I give this guy $10, I'm literally getting the same exact thing. Um, which this is this ten dollars is Apple versus everybody else, which I don't know why Apple's doing that, but there's app the mobile community is pretty big, so I mean, <laughs> like it's kind of unfair. Apple brings this suit to end. Epic brings this suit to end Apple's unfair and anti-competitive actions that Apple undertakes to unlawfully maintain its monopoly in two distinct multi-billion-dollar markets. It's crazy that. Apple once fought against it, and now they're now they're the exact thing they didn't want to be. That's crazy. Even though they said that, I just I'm just literally thinking about that now. So Epic actually offered this, which this is this is what Apple Apple did not want. So Epic offered to have two types of payment, either an Epic Direct payment for $7.99 for like a thousand V bucks, or the original price $9.99, but that was an Apple App Store pay. So. Apple wanted their freaking share for some reason. They want to make money more than they want to make more money than everybody. They think they're better than everybody for some reason, but it's just because simply because which I showed I might not show this filming, but literally as we you can see all they did was lower their prices. New lower prices which are confirmed to stay this low as long as you have certain payment methods which I'm pretty sure are very very common payment methods so it's not like they're weird payment methods that nobody has. So, rather than rather than tolerate this healthy competition and compete on the merits of its offering, Apple responded by removing Fortnite from sale to the App Store, which means the new users cannot download the app and the users who already download the pri pr prior versions of the app from the App Store cannot update it to the latest version. So basically, this is a cash cup in that's going on right now. So, which is probably Apple's, so any iPad player's last cash cup, unless freaking Fortnite decides to, you know, stop being, not Fortnite, Epic, wow, not even Epic, <laughs> just ignore me, as long as Apple decides to stop being a bitch, but, you know, it's just, I, I can't choose it, but it's just crazy, like, that one company's actually fighting them on this, big, fat respects, massive most disgusting respects to um, Epic Games slash Fortnite for for doing something that I don't think anyone would have any any other company would have done. Literally, like this is awesome. So basically, for you guys that can't understand all of this that's going on, okay, we're gonna explain it to you in a in a visual presentation, okay? This right here, all right. Pretend there's someone in front of me. This I'm Apple right now, okay? I'm Apple, bro. All right. This is like Fortnite and every other company for like the last 40 years, right? They're just taking it. They're taking everything Apple's given them. Apple's like, bam, bam, bam. But now finally Fortnite was one of the companies that just punched them back. They were like, we're sick of your shit, dog. You know? They finally, someone actually fought back. And which is cool, which is cool. Um, I'm a big fan of Apple, but this is not the move, Apple. Apple, you have now taken your L, your Fortnite L. Wait. Visual representation, because that's how people learn better this way. <laughs> cringe, cringe, cringe. Anyway, the drama that this has this has caused is literally insane. If we go to look at um, everybody that's like, we're gonna start with like Ducky, the gamer, because he's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, um, Fortnite mobile content creators. He follows me, W. We just took a W there, boys. Uh, he's actually tweeted a lot about it. My livelihood is Fortnite Mobile. I honestly don't know what this is going to, how this is going to impact my life, my income, or my content moving forward. To say I'm scared is an understatement. I really hope I'll be able to keep my job after all this is said and done. Wow. <laughs> like, people are saying, like, mobile shitters, mobiles don't believe, don't deserve to play with us in any way. Mobiles are OP. <laughs> and some of that I agree, just to an extent, a tiny extent. 
I'm with the mobile community, honestly. I, f I stand with you, mobile community. Switch players are... We fight under 30 FPS. We don't always get 30 FPS. That's just, that's just what we advertise it as. <clears throat> Anyone that thinks we get 30 FPS is BS. They're lying to you. But, um, basically, the Switch community... Not, not all of them. A vast majority of the Switch community, which is my community that I'm in, um... They're all saying like, this is awesome, this is so great, but like, they're not thinking about people like Ducky the Gamer, or Surfing Boy, you know, or Grant the Goat. Like, all these homies that have have came to follow me, which is cool of them, and I know how, how big they are, like, from just Fortnite Mobile, look, 800k, he has 800 plus thousand subscribers slash followers slash on all his platforms. I'm somewhat terrified of how long this is going to get, take to get resolved, and he did tweet to Ducky. Just streamed his opinions on this, and I could couldn't have said it. He couldn't have said it any better myself. Epic just pissed on the mobile community to take a political stand without telling those of us who rely on the game, which I totally agree. Like it's literally crazy that they're not even thinking about their fans. They're just like Apple just wants their money, man. So now if we go to Grant the Goat, another one that follows me, I freaking appreciate. Ducky, Surfing Boy, and Grant the Goat. They don't even know that they're in this video, but the fact that they um, all follow me, and I've actually, and I've and have been following me for a really long time. Like it's cool that you guys are still doing that. This this guy has over one million, almost two million subscribers. He's a young kid, Grant the Goat, and he put out this, which is crazy. When I saw this, I thought we showed the video, so I don't need to read it. But this is what I thought this was fake, but apparently it was real because right after freaking Fortnite posted that video which is crazy but what did he say i want to see what he said about this oh he actually said they're live talking about it so i actually got to miss it but he did post a video on it he said right here so um if you guys just want to check out grant the goat and support his video on it then let him know you came from me if you do end up doing that but epic doesn't realize how many people they're actually affecting because there's so many people that are just literally making their lives off this and i've actually made money for a year and a half only off Fortnite, like from playing Fortnite, from playing the game. And I was, I've been able to pay off my rent, my truck, my everything just from just from playing Fortnite. And Fortnite is you're a great game, great community. And it's just like an Apple. I don't get I don't see how you don't see that. Like, I don't get that. Apple just literally is just taking their massive L. I just don't I don't get it. I really hope that this gets resolved and something does change. If you, any of your mobile players are watching this video, I literally am with you guys. Um, I just wanted to say that, get that out there. To re, to recap, um, something that we did not cover in this. Basically, the way that um, Apple has been going at screwing people over is they've been doing a 30% tax on purchases of apps, like in the App Store for Fortnite and all this stuff. This is not just with Fortnite, but if I can find the picture that I was looking at, yes, this one. Because I've read through all of this, uh, which 30%, it's super high. Every other company charges around 3%, which is not even competitive. They just don't give a shit. That was like, that's like, don't even give a shit numbers right there. Like, it's just crazy. Literally, I kind of like went over everything I went on and had a, a bunch of things to say about it. Showed you guys the video to recap. Just wanted to say, um, let's hope this gets resolved. Let's hope this year doesn't get shittier than it already has been. 2020 has been some hell of a year dude a hell of a year this link will be down below in case you have any other questions that i didn't answer i think i went over everything that was basically already explained just going more into depth on what i've already said so yeah we've already we've already discussed it i'm pretty sure but honestly i just hope this gets figured out um thank you guys so much for watching this video i have another like fortnite drama video i'm gonna be putting in the description as well um, that actually did really well. I hope this one does as well. Also, um, I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my content. It's been your boy Wickstrom. And remember to drop a like. I'd appreciate that. And tell your friends about my about my content. I literally have been making videos for years and years and years. And I'm not going anywhere. So, thank you guys. See you.